corey helping prepare dishes at babbo italian eatery. donating all their profits today to pch. i know. Oh, you see where I'm standing? Uh, if I so were a, a medieval prince or a king of some kind, this is what would be laid out in front of me. Of course, I would have somebody tasting it for me, just to be sure, because you can't really trust your subjects. But uh, in this case, you can trust everything at Bobble. Kim Ho is with us from uh, Phoenix Children's Hospital. And over here, we've got Charlotte and Taylor. Yes, the Frankel girl, uh, the Frankel, the Pollock girls. Oh, we have Frankel on the brain. Do I know any Frankels? Yeah. Well, you're no longer a Pollock. No. But you uh, grew up as a Pollock. So uh, thank you so much for you are doing for Phoenix Children's. And let me ask you first, Kim, um, you probably have, I know you have many partners when it comes to fundraising, but not many are doing what Babo is doing, right? Exactly. We are so grateful for their support. Today they are not only doing 100% of the profits at all eight Valley locations, they're also matching it. So we're just unbelievably grateful. Yeah. Now, this matching idea, did you know that was going to be happening? We did. That was my husband's idea. <laughs> it's really a great idea. So people are going to really double their donation today. We're hoping that they come in and eat. They're going to eat anyways. And this is for a really great cause. Yeah. And uh, you could be helping any cause. What do you like about PCH? Well, we have partnered with different uh, organizations mm -hmm. before, but Phoenix Children's is really near and dear to our heart. I was a nurse for years. Oh, yeah. We have a lot of friends and family who have had their children at the hospital, mm -hmm. and we recently went on a tour, and they just do a fabulous job. Yeah. So we're really fortunate in the Valley to have an orga organization like that that's able to care for children. Well, your efforts are going a long way. And, uh, okay, let's get into it, Taylor. Let's start up. We have just a few seconds. We'll have to clip through, but right. start here and take us on the tour. Okay, so this is one of our um, appetizers. It's a stuffed portobello mushroom. We have our farmhouse pizza. It has two eggs on top with arugula. Yes. Uh, this is our spaghetti and meatballs, which I, are really known for. Sorry, I tied into that a little earlier. My apologies. Oh, Go ahead. Uh, this, <laughs> this is our chalkboard chicken with pesto and zucchini and a bunch of vegetables. Wow, they're running the music on us. So <laughs> zippity zip. All right. Uh, and the uh, fig and prosciutto pizza with arugula. This is our house-made focaccia bread. We make oh, it yes. fresh every single no, day. No, it's so darn good. If you've never been to Bobo, the come see salad. all the rest Corey, of the delights. Corey, over this Brussels sprout salad because you're mm. really upsetting Andrea. So good. Oh, Brussels sprout salad. My favorite. Andrea's talking. It's right here, Andrea. <gasps> Andrea's all over that. What kind of cheese is on top? It's goat, goat cheese. Your favorite. Oh, he hates that it. Is he Way. She's a farm girl. I mean, she grew up in Glendale. Yeah. Farm girl. In the heart of town. Yeah, she grew up in Glendale. Farms of Glendale. Not on a farm.